We've got an incredible interview for episode one of In Ring Pop. We've got the fabulous TNA knockout Taryn Terrell. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, hot off the heels of an amazing feud with Awesome Kong. When you see Awesome Kong walking towards you, what's going through your mind? Because she's quite a scary lady. I mean, yeah, she's giant. Uh, <laughs> so obviously, you know, I mean, it's, it's, this has been a, quite a long feud at this point, and um, I've done everything that I could do to uh, to get her down, and I essentially had to use my best friends to get her down at the end. And you know, I know that I'm going to do whatever it takes uh, to win and to beat her. So she may be scary, but um, but I've got tricks up my sleeve. Would you say that she's probably your fiercest competitor you've had so far? Well, I would have to say definitely between her and Gil, Kim. I mean, they're both just, you know, obviously ridiculously good at what they do. Um, but, you know, I've been training and I, I've, I've been wrestling. I've been in wrestling since 2008. Um, so, you know, obviously I, I feel like I am as good as a competitor as they are. I feel like I'm better than they are. I have surpassed them. Um, so, you know, I mean, they've definitely been the toughest competition, but, I mean, I'm not afraid of anyone tougher than them. Great. I know you mentioned Gail Kim there. I was going to bring this up because, to be fair, your ladder match with Gail Kim is my favourite match. Um, I think it was really... Well, thank you. It was amazing. You you know, ladders, you were going all over the place. Um, how do you kind of avoid injury in that situation? Uh, you know, you don't... <laughs> avoid it um you just kind of you, you go out there and and you know i think um i think there are some things about gail and i that are very similar and you know when we go out in the ring we definitely give it all that we have and we put it all out there um so i mean certainly if we get hurt we get hurt and we definitely walk away from those matches very bruised up very sore um thank goodness you know nothing major has ever happened but you know, it, you're, you're not walking away feeling good. Yes, I can imagine. Very sore the next morning when you wake up. <laughs> yeah. Um, women's wrestling's been around for a long time, um, but it's always kind of been regarded as more pin-up girls, more show than skill. So you've been part of a, a big movement that's recently changed. We've had a TNA knockout show completely. Um, what sort of input do you have on that, that kind of situation and bringing women forward for wrestling? Well, I mean, it is really cool. I mean, you know, I think that uh, as women athletes, you know, we're, and women wrestlers, we obviously, you know, we want to be great at what we do, and we want to look good doing it, and I think that, you know, it certainly has gone from, it's, it's just a transition from going from, okay, you just look great, and you can get by on your, you know, with a little bit of that athleticism, to now, if, if you're not a good wrestler, I mean, you're definitely going to be ripped apart by the fans, and you're going to be ripped apart by the people that you work with, um, you know, I mean, everybody keeps upping the bar for each other, and I think it's just leading to better and better female wrestling. Definitely, definitely. So we've had the night of knockouts, which is uh, which was a great night where you headlined. Um, I have to say I'm a big fan of uh, Brooke. Um, we've seen her on The Amazing Race recently with Robbie E. Uh, is that something that maybe you'd like to take on? Um, <laughs> you know what? I, I think that I am I'm very happy not doing reality TV at this point in my career. Yeah. Um, you know, I think... Uh, <laughs> It definitely looks like, um, it looks like a blast. It looks like she, you know, she had a lot of fun and traveled the world. Um, but, you know, I think I'm in a very different point in my life. I'm, I'm a mom, and I am able to still, you know, wrestle and, and do stunt work, and those are my two passions. And so I, I don't think that there's any room for me to be spread any center. <laughs> Oh yes, definitely. I've seen um, a video of you just walking around. You've set yourself on fire, so you're a massive risk taker. Um, would you say, are you a big adrenaline junkie? You know, it's, it's funny. I'm not. Like, I, I don't want to jump out of a plane per se. Um, I don't. I don't go after it. It's, it's actually a really weird thing. It's almost like I mean, obviously, I like. I like. I like doing things and challenging myself. Um, but everything I do, it's. Instead of it being like this adrenaline rush, it's like a very focused um, and intense feeling for me where I'm just very uh, prepared to handle anything that comes at me. So I do that with stunts and I do that in wrestling and 
you know, I think it's actually, it's almost better because I get to enjoy it afterwards. Um, but during, it's not this, like, crazy adrenaline rush. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah. Is it true you're in the uh, Jurassic World movie as a stunt woman? I did. I did do stunts on that one as well. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I think anyone that watched the original Jurassic Park, um, you know, it, it's such an amazing thing that so many years later they're redoing it. That Steven Spielberg. Uh, so I mean, I was a fan of that movie when I was a kid. So it was really surreal, definitely, to do stunts on that one. Would you like to get into acting? Is that something that you see yourself doing in the future? Uh, well, acting, you know, it, it's, um, I, I do enjoy it. It's really fun. I think uh, if I have the opportunity to do it, then absolutely. Um, but my passion at this point in my life is wrestling and stunts. Um, you know, and, and I think with stunt work too, you end up, sometimes we get parts that, are, that have lines and that sort of thing. And so, you know, I, still, I do get to do a bit of acting, and I had um, a reoccurring role on an HBO show a few years ago. Um, so it's really it's fun, you know. It's kind of like I definitely enjoy the opportunities that are thrown at me, and I take full advantage of them. Okay, that's great. Um, and you mentioned just then that uh, you're a mom now as well. So how life changing has that been for you? It's been it's been amazing. Obviously, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, you know, definitely. It definitely makes you refocus your life, and um, it gives me every time I, I go up, go to work, or go in the ring, or go do a stunt. You know, I'm, I now have this like, complete new motivation for everything that I do. Um, so it's been it's been the most incredible thing ever. You know, I, this this past two years has been absolutely insane. From you know becoming a mother to becoming knockout champion, which is a dream that I wasn't sure it was ever going to happen, and it didn't happen. So, um, you know, that's incredible. And then, you know, we we get the opportunity to travel, and then we're coming, you know, we're returning with Impact Wrestling um, in January to Manchester, London, to Birmingham. Um, you know, so it's just it's this amazing ride that I'm on, and I'm not ready to get off of it anytime soon. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Um, well, you mentioned there the UK tour, so you're looking forward to that, obviously? So much. I love it. I love every opportunity I get to come over to the UK. Um, and I know that this one is going to be the most fan-friendly ever. There's so much more excitement, more interaction than ever before. Um, you know, Kurt Angle's going to be there. Lastly, Matt Hardy. Uh, myself, of course, which is the most important. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be absolutely incredible. Uh, We were lucky enough to be involved in the fan interaction uh, when they came to Manchester last year, um, which I thought was an amazing experience for fans of TNA. Um, what would you say to people that were kind of thinking about doing that interaction? Well, the really cool thing is with fan interaction, right, is that you, you get to get up close and personal. Whereas, like, when, you're, when you go and you see the show, it's obviously it's amazing, but you're not right there. You don't get to have conversations with uh, the wrestlers and the knockouts. Um, so it's, that, it's an opportunity to actually, you know, meet the people on the roster and, you know, everybody's there and everybody has, has time and um, it's a cool experience. I know for myself, I love it. I know that there's, there's so many fans that have showed up to so many of them and, you know, you end up like, you end up remembering fans that you've seen and met throughout the years and it's just it's a cool experience, not only for the fans, but it's a cool experience for us too. Yes, definitely. And you've been to the UK before. What would you say is your favourite city that you visited? What's my favourite way? City in the UK. Oh, my favourite city. I'm going to have to go to London because it's the most explored. <laughs> I've been, uh, I spent about a week in London and I fell in love with it. It's so cool. There's amazing shopping and amazing food. Um, I did a uh, Broadway play and... Uh, I guess it's called Broadway there, I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, it, it was, I, I thought it was amazing. I just, I absolutely love it out there. I'm so excited every chance I get to come out there. And then my favorite thing of all is prong cocktail kits, which I can only get there. <laughs> Do you know, it's funny that because um, I interviewed Chris Jericho not so long ago and he said one of his favourite things was prawn cocktail crisps as well. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it's something we There's need to... There's nothing like that in the States. Nothing yeah, we, we need to bring that to America. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so um, just going through a list of things that you've done then. So you started on the Diva search. Um, it's escalated to you've had your own night of knockouts on TNA, you've headlined TNA, you've set yourself on fire and you're a mom. Is there anything else that you want to do that's on your bucket list that you need to do? <laughs> um, you know what, I think one of the one of the things that I, I really enjoy doing is just um, traveling to different parts of the world. Uh, and I think, you know, there's, I would really like to go to South America. Um, so that's kind of like my, my biggest goal in the future um but i just i really enjoy every sort of opportunity that gets thrown at me but i you know i don't know who knows what's next <laughs> well thank you very much for joining us today taryn and if you're ever looking for a new member of the dollhouse i'd quite happily volunteer so when you come to manchester give me a shout <laughs> but that's great <laughs> absolutely you'll need, you'll need tons of ribbons and, and bright colors thank and a you. great attitude and by that i mean Thank you very much for joining us, Taryn, and we'll see you when you come to the UK in January. Sounds good. Thank you.